Hello, my name is Matthew Howlett, and this is the first and most likely only video on converting Coco datasets to Kitty format. So in this part of the video, we're going to be running a conversion Python script, which converts Coco to Kitty. There's a written guide on how to do this, which you can find at the GitHub page linked in the description of this video. It is Howell0893 Custom Object Detection Datasets. And this GitHub repo has two other tutorials on creating custom Coco datasets from scratch, as well as converting Pascal VLC formatted datasets into a Coco dataset. So the first part of this written guide just talks about Kitty format and the data included in it. Um, Coco datasets have bounding box values, which we will be extracting to create our Kitty label text file. An example of a text file for a stop sign image is here, and these values are the bounding box values. For object detection and classification, you typically don't need all these other values, so we're just focusing on the bounding box. The conversion script is provided by Dusty NV. Feel free to check out his GitHub page. Um, but I do show you how to use this script in this video. So moving over to the script, a few things you want to change is the data directory, data type, and annotation file. Uh, you may need to change your category names of your data set. If you're using the road signs data set I provide on my repo, you can get the category names within the mask definitions file. This Python script creates a labels folder. You can change the name of the folder it creates by changing all these labels here, here, and here. So we're going to run the script by opening an anaconda prompt and then navigating to the Python folder within the custom object detection datasets repo. And then to run the script, you just type in python coco to kitty.py. But before you run that, in a previous video, we removed all these JSON files from the annotations folder, but to run this full, uh, Python script and have success, we're going to want to put them back in there. So now go ahead and run it. So index created. So if we go to our Python folder, we should have a new labels folder with all of the image text files. So if we open one up, this is an image of a yield sign with these bounding boxes. So what we can do is move this. We're into the road signs data set. And then thing you're going to want to do to complete the kitty data set is create a data create it structured like this so you're going to want to create a kitty folder and two folders train and validate and then move some of the images and labels into the training folder typically around 80 to 70 percent and then the validate folder will have 20 to 30% of the images with their corresponding label text files. 